Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making a bourbon raisin bread pudding topped with candied bacon and pecans. It's going to be epic. At least for bread pudding, it will be epic. Let's get going. Before I actually start this recipe, I want to point out a couple things. First of all, this is kind of a collaborative project between myself and some fellow YouTubers. We have actually put together a really good playlist that is just chocked full of some great dishes you might want to prepare for the holidays. I've got a link to that playlist in the additional information box down below. So I'm hoping you'll click on it, check out some other recipes, give these guys some love, sub their channels. I know they'd appreciate it. Second of all, got a lot of things going on. I've got the actual bread pudding recipe, candied bacon recipe, how to candy the pecans, and also a sauce. So rather than having this extremely long video, I'm going to focus on the bread pudding and I'm going to put links down for the additional components of this, the sauce and the candied bacon and everything. So that's also down in the description box below. Anyway, let's get going on this recipe. Got my bowl here. I'm going to add two and one quarter cups milk, two cups of turbinado sugar. This is sugar in the raw. You can use regular sugar. Five cups of beaten eggs. These are large eggs that I whipped up. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This is a half a stick of butter or one quarter cup butter that's softened. This is one half cup raisins. Now, what I did was I put these in a bowl and I covered it with bourbon, let them soak overnight. So they're bourbon soaked raisins, good stuff. You can omit this if you don't want the raisins or you can omit the bourbon if you don't want the good stuff. Now this is one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground nutmeg. Now we're going to get this all mixed up. Want to make sure that that butter gets nice and distributed throughout this liquid here. All right, as you can see, it's all mixed up now and the butter is basically broken up into little teeny pieces that are floating on the surface of the liquid. That's what we want. Don't worry about that. We're going to add the bread now. What I have here is what probably equates to about three and a half cups of bread cubes. This is French bread that I allowed to set out overnight. So it's pretty darn stale. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the liquid. We're going to fold this in. All right. It's all mixed up. We're going to set this aside. I want this to sit for about 10 minutes to let that bread absorb all this liquid. We're going to move on to the next step, which is the pecans. I lied to you. I am going to show you how to candy those pecans. We're going to add the bacon into that. So let's get going on that part. All right. So this is actually going to be the topping on this bread pudding. One cup chopped pecans, pecans, however you want to pronounce it. I have here a quarter cup of melted butter. When I get this all stirred up, make sure those pecans get coated in that butter. One quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have here one half cup of packed light brown sugar. Get this all mixed up. And I want to get, again get those pecans coated with the sugar. Time for the money maker now. This is five strips of bacon that I candied. I candied it with terminado sugar and brown sugar. The recipe for this is linked below. So it's five strips chopped up. This stuff is magic. My son was digging this, believe me. Let's get this all mixed up, incorporated. Set aside. Now I'm going to use a casserole dish and I coated this with butter. We're going to add the bread mixture into the casserole dish. And I just want to gently tap this down to where it's even. I don't have any rogue pieces of bread sticking straight up or anything. It's looking good. Now let's go ahead and add this. Bacon, pecan, topping. Did I tell you there's bacon in here? All 
All right, looking good. We are ready to cook. Now, I will be cooking this on the Primo of Lexel, the ceramic cooker out in my patio. If you wanna cook this in the house, just make sure your oven's preheated to 350 and you're good to go. I'll meet you out in the backyard. Okay, so Primo is preheated to 350, just like you would do in your oven. Have the deflector down there, so I'm cooking on indirect heat. Go ahead and place this in the center of the grate. Close it. Now I'm going to check this for Dennis in about 30 minutes, and I'm anticipating the total cook to be between 35 and 45 minutes, but you want to make sure that it gets set up on the inside. See you in a bit. We are at 45 minutes. I just took a peek about a minute ago to check on it. It's done, and it is absolutely beautiful. And I have to tell you, smells like the holidays, smells like Christmas to me. Anyway, we want to serve it warm. We do not want to serve it piping hot like it is right now. Need to let it set up a little bit more. I'm going to remove this from the cooker, take it inside, let it cool a little bit. We'll be serving it up shortly with that sauce, that bourbon sauce I was telling you about. A few other surprises, so I'll meet you inside. Bread pudding is all set up. I have that sauce, that bourbon sauce made. I'm ready to try this. Again, my favorite part. Love it. Oh. And here's that bourbon sauce. Nice and warm. Smells so good. Now right here I have some homemade whipped cream and I infused a little cinnamon in it. I'll put the recipe in that link as well. <sighs> Let's give it a try guys. Wow, give me that bourbon. So good, so good guys. And do not let that bacon scare you. All it does is add just a little bit of saltiness to this very sweet, very decadent dessert. And it really helps balance it out. I mean, it really, really helps balance it out. I faded after that first bite and I ate five or six more bites. I mean, I could kill this whole plate easily, easily. Anyway guys, Thanks again for stopping by. Please check out that playlist. You will not regret it, I promise you. And again, for recipe on the sauce and how to candy the bacon and the whipped cream, I've got another link down there for you to click on. Till the next video. Cheers.